in this video I will show you five rapid games that I played in the last week in the Israeli Cup hello everyone and welcome back how are you today my name is Nitzan Steinberg Grandmaster and here I am we will see today a very interesting games I must tell you that it was very important for me uh, to play my best uh, in this tournament and we will see the games against you know very very strong and talented players in my country so before I will start I must show you our YouTube channel 550 subscribers thank you very much all for subscribe and like and every comment that you write it's really really helped me and also you can see 57 videos it's unbelievable number so you know I'm doing my best for you guys so don't forget to click on subscribe and also to put a ring to all uh, to have all notification for any update okay so let's start with the first game I played against a very very talented player uh, and also very young Adi Menachem and you know he, he very surprised me in this game because I felt like he's very strong and yeah it was a tough game so let's see it e4 c6 93 d5 it's a Karo Khan and now you know I played a lot of moves here I played the moves knight c3 for example also uh, in this position of course d4 d5 e5 also knight c3 also knight d2 so a lot of options of course for white and uh, in, but, but I, I wanted to play knight f3 so d5 and I take the pawn c takes the pawn uh, c takes d5 of course and knight to e5 and it's really strange move of course in the opening but my point that uh, you know I will play d4 bishop b5 and somehow uh, you know kick the this knight from c6 and if he's not going away of course bishop d7 um, and I will take the bishop as as probably will be in the game so knight c6 d4 knight f6 and bishop b5 i'm threatening this knight on c6 and now you know bishop d7 is the most logical move for black so i just take the bishop queen takes and c3 and in this position you know white has two bishops uh, but it's very complicated position and it's very interesting to see how uh, the game gone for now so e6 castle bishop d6 very makes sense and knight d2 this move is very important i think the point was that black wants to play for example castle uh, maybe knight e4 f5 and this knight on e4 is very very strong and i didn't like to bring him the opportunity to bring the knight to e4 so i played the move knight d2 castle and now rook e1 as you can see controlling this uh, square uh, from from the knight from f6 and also in the next future maybe to play someone bishop d3 knight f3 knight e5 and you know also this square is good for me so we played the move a6 um, logical of course bishop d3 and now queen c7 and now it's it's very important move i think what do you think you can in the comment below you can write what do you think about this position which move do you prefer uh, with white pieces but it's very really important because the more you know the the most logical move is to play knight to f3 but after knight f3 of course you are uh, defending this pawn on h2 but black has a very uh, you know like dramatic move bishop to f4 and now you know you don't you will lost the the advantage of two bishops so bishop f4 and probably somehow i don't know maybe uh, g3 takes queen takes maybe or maybe rook takes and it's fine of course white is a little bit better maybe but not something you know special so after queen c7 i just want to play the move g3 and you know also to protect from h2 and also not giving the possibility to play bishop to f4 uh, right so this was the idea b5 a3 i played a3 because i didn't want to let b4 and this pawn on c3 it's you know is is very uh, tempting for black right because for example knight f3 i think also you know maybe rook fc8 before it and after it before and this pawn on c3 will be weak after it right for example i don't know b4 um, for example king j2 takes takes knight a5 bishop d2 knight c4 this pawn will be weak until the end of the game so i played the move a3 rook a b8 and now knight to f3 a5 
And now, you know, it's, it's really interesting to, to think in this position because, you know, B4 was a very in interesting move by me because I'm blocking, you know, I'm doing a blockade for this uh, pawn on B5 and the, it will be weak pawn, right? And another very important thing that this knight wants to bring himself to C4 maybe, to B3, to A4 and after B4 there is nothing to, you know, this knight will not uh, come there. And you know, I will play the move bishop to d4, uh, a bishop d2, for example. For example, a4 if he's playing bishop d2, I think. Also queen e2, and this pawn will be weak. And the pawn, uh, the, the, the squared c4, maybe the knight will come d7, b6, c4. But also I can just take it. So I'm I'm not sure about this position. But b4 was a very very uh, interesting choice to play. But I did play the move bishop g5, knight d7, and now I understand that the bishop is g5 is not working at all and I play the move bishop to d2 with you know like some some plans like to play knight g5 queen h5 some sacrificing here maybe I don't know maybe only maybe because knight b6 for example I think bishop h7 makes sense for me to take knight g5 if king g6 queen g4 also queen c2 yeah but also queen g4 it seems like it's winning absolutely and if king g8 queen h5 also makes a lot of sense for me. I think this position is already winning. Check, check, take, yeah. It's, I think it's probably winning, but you know, it's not so easy, but it seems good. It seems good for white. So yeah, this bishop d2 was an interesting move, right? To, to bring the knight to g5 maybe in the next future. So rook f8, uh, king g2 I played also in this position, probably b4 was a very clever move. But I played the move King G2, you know, it's rapid game, don't forget, it's 15 minutes uh, plus 5 seconds uh, increment for every move. So, you know, I, I'm trying to play uh, a good moves while, uh, you know, playing fast. It's, it's really important in this uh, rapid uh, time control. So F6 he played, and in this position I played a bad move, I think. I played the move Bishop to B1, and my point was, you know, uh, to maybe to play the move queen to c2 and also uh, you know like to, to be ready after e5 to play the move bishop to a2 and this diagonal is very weak for black so this was my point but unfortunately after bishop to b1 you know he played a very very strong move 8 4 and now you know black wants to play knight a5 knight b3 knight c4 maybe this knight will come to c4 and my my bishops are doing nothing in this position so you know e5 was not really tempting for, for for black. So in this position I think just queen c2 was very clever, knight f8 and maybe a4 just to play in this um, in, in the queen side, right? Because after b4 I think also c4 makes sense for me and you know after f6 this diagonal will be weak for black so it's interesting interesting solution uh, by white to play queen c2 not bishop b1, right? So a4 was played, h4 I you know I, I I, I must uh, play, you know, in, with some plan. So I wanted to push h4, a, h4, h5, maybe knight h4, queen g4. We will see it in the next uh, moves, of course. Knight a5, and now I admit my uh, my bad move, bishop to b1, and I play the move bishop to c2. It's really important to understand that, you know, in chess, you don't need to be like, um, you know, to say okay i i was you know I, I i did a mistake but you know the game is just a sport right you must admit uh, into the mistakes and you know coming back coming back it's not it's not a shame to come back and everything is fine it's only game it's only a move so yeah i think bishop be uh, bishop to c2 was a very you know like a sportsman move by me and I played the move bishop to c2 just want uh, to to avoid from knight to b3 and and yeah it's it's quite it seems quite good so e5 was played and now I played the move uh, h5 because I wanted to be uh, you know uh, to have the possibility to play after e4 to play the move knight to h4 and now this pawn is a little bit you know like um, a pro you know like and not giving the, the opportunity to play knight h4, of course, so I played the move h5, and now this square, um, you know, is, is safe for knight, for, 
from f3. So knight c4, bishop c1, of course, uh, to protect this pawn on b2. e4, knight h4, makes sense, knight f8. Queen g4 makes a lot of sense. Bring the queen to the attack, maybe knight f5, maybe bishop to h6, maybe h6 in some ways. So queen d7, knight f5, and king h8. And now I think, I, you know, in this position I played a very, very, you know, important moves, but also very fast moves. Because, you know, in chess we must understand that the, the time control is, is very important. And if we're not playing in the, you know, like, uh, in the best shape of us, we will lose the game because in time trouble everything can happen, right? And we don't want to bring ourselves to a time trouble. So in this position I played the move rook to h1. And my point was, you know, like to g6 is, of course, very bad after h takes, knight takes, and queen takes, right? So I'm coming with my rook into the game. I'm bringing another piece to, into the attack because on e1 is not working at all, but on h1 he will do a very good uh, job. So he, pl he played the move bishop to c7, makes sense. And now I understand that his threat is maybe to play the move knight to d6. And because this knight on f5 is very strong and maybe black wants just to replace it, right? To exchange the piece. So I played a very interesting move. I played the move queen to h3 because my opponent is only, I think like two or three Three minutes in this position and, and I understand that you know if I move play fast and in good moves he will have uh, problems of course in the clock so he played the move knight d6 and now my point was to play knight to e3 and of course after queen takes h3 rook takes h3 this pawn just will be lost so he must play the move queen f7 and now my point was to play bishop to b1 to bring the bishop to a2 in this diagonal this pawn on d5 is a weak pawn and you know it's not so easy for him to to defend it right because for example rook bd8 i don't know bishop to a2 knight c4 maybe i just can take it I don't know, b takes and maybe bishop c2, bishop, uh, bishop b1, sorry, bishop c2, this pawn will be weak, bishop p3, maybe come with the rook, somehow g4, g5, I don't know, but maybe it's only in my dreams, um, but it's interesting position, of course, to play. Also, in this position, maybe to take with the bishop, I don't know, maybe b takes and now knight f5, sorry, bishop will go to e3, rook to h, g1, g4, maybe in, in this case, I can play like this. But yeah, o also one possibility is just not replaced at all. Maybe to play b3, also interesting. B a, a takes, b bishop takes, and a4. Maybe this is my point. So yeah, it's it's very interesting. But my opponent played knight d7 with no, not so much time on the clock. I played the move h6 uh, because black must play g6 or g5, of course, and I just take the pawn on d5. I saw it because now after queen takes, queen takes, I'm also... Um, you know, like threatening checkmate in one queen g7. So he played the move f3, uh, sorry, e3, check f3, queen f7, takes, takes, and now rook to e1 just wants to take this pawn um, and also, of course, to develop my bishop. So bishop takes, knight f7, bishop to d3. Um, of course, winning position for me. You know, two bishops, one pawn up. So yeah, it's only technical issues here. So g5, bishop f2, and now rook h1. Attacking this pawn on h7, f5, rook h5, attacking this pawn with every move with tempo, rook h1, also attacking this pawn, rook b7, rook h6, attacking this knight, and bishop f5, bishop e6, and in this position, uh, my opponent resigned his game, and I won the first game of this tournament, the Israeli Cup, and in the next video, you will see the second game between me. And I will tell you, because it will be interesting for you to see, B between, uh, one second, okay, yes, it's working, so I'm playing against Igor Bitansky with the black pieces, you must see it, the next video will come back soon, bye bye, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel, it really, really helped me, thank you very much, bye bye.